got this feeling. Hello everyone, welcome to the Wise Pass interview number, I think number six or seven, and uh, we have today Leo from Broma. Nice to meet you, Leo. Nice to meet you. Leo has been nice to pop up to the office today, and uh, today we're going to talk about Broma, about how they uh, use Wise Pass, and Broma has been like one of the venues that started with us. So we'll start uh, with a few questions uh, from my side. And then uh, we'll ask, uh, you can ask us a couple of questions after that, okay? So let's start. So maybe um, you can um, introduce yourself a little bit and talk about Broma first. Uh, well, as um, Laura introduced me, uh, my name is Leo, and I've been working for Broma uh, for four years and a half. Uh, basically, let's see in the beginning, we, we just opened. And, um, We've been working with YPASS for seven months now, and so far we we earn some traffic uh, from the membership, from new customers as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm very glad that people like Roma. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can you tell us, like, when you you started to work with YPASS, like, ha have you heard any, like, is there any app or technology or stuff that can really drive traffic like this? With some bottles are in in what you mean, or have you heard about any technology like this? No, actually, no. Like this, um, this is the first time I, I heard about like this kind of app and like bringing people uh, bringing the the new solution for customer to enjoy the bottle more. Mm. Like that. Yeah, this is the first one. And over the past seven months, like um, what can you tell us? Like uh, one of one good thing, but also like one bad thing you'd like uh, us to handle. So one good thing, one bad thing about uh, Wisepass and the way we've uh, delivered traffic and hopefully sales to you. The good thing is like we we have new uh, customers sent from Wisepass, mm -hmm. and um, at the very beginning, right, of course, uh, there were some uh, difficulty. For example, like the the scanning, sometimes the app uh, didn't really work. But like recently, mm, everything went very smooth, um, so that's an issue when we like fixed. And in terms of the sales for us, it's um, how do I put this? We we have more customers, but like in terms of sale for soft drink, we don't really sell much. Because like sometimes when people go into a, a group, they order a bottle and they spend a lot of time uh, at Roma, and I'm, I'm, I guess they I guess they enjoy the ambience, but like they occupy the space and they don't spend enough for us. Good question. How much would be enough for a uh, Roma to to get like um, a good um, satisfaction from my space? Well, yeah, if we. If those people, if those customers, they they not from White Pass, and they would spend at least one person a hundred thousand or hundred fifty for a cocktail, or even like for a bottle of beer like ninety or or a hundred or hundred fifty depends depends on what kind of beer. And like let's say if they stay for like two hours, then normally they would have like at least one or two drinks. So imagine like four people that we could make around the minimum is like five hundred or eight hundred already. Okay. So basically if White Spice can solve this problem by ensuring that you get more than half a million for every scan, that would be a way uh, to 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 make you happier, I would say. That would be great. Alright then. I guess we're gonna work on that and try to uh, work on the solution, I would say. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Um, I'll just like, um, well, that's basically our first part of the interview. That's already passed, right? As I told you. Um, do you have any, maybe one question or two questions for, for me um, for about White's Pass? And what is your vision? Like, let's say we have um, five months left on the contract, right? And for the, if you want to renew with Roma, what, what would you need to ask? What is a new plan for Bruma? And of course, like, I would like uh, for both of us, we want to work together and to grow together. So, 
how can we do it? What what can you provide to us? Sure. Uh, yeah, as we grow since the past seven months, we're trying to see like what would be the best metric to measure our um, partnership. Mm -hmm. So when we start to work with uh, the bars, it was really simple. It was just like there's an app. Does it drive traffic to your place? If so, how many? It works so far that we can see now people are going to the bar and get a free ball of okay. But the second metric right now we're looking at is actually, and it's good that you've addressed that in terms of sales, how can we not only do we drive traffic, but also drive really as great sales? And the way we, we ask questions now to the F&B manager, from the hotels, from the bar, from the clubs, is what is your average bill and how much you want, how much you would love to get. So we can get the numbers. And then from there, we will make this uh, uh, shift in the mindset of uh, everybody working in the FNB industry. Today, you may see WhatsApp as white app where you can get some traffic, and but sometimes it's just like, uh, a pain because people can scan or sometimes people uh, spend a lot of time and they don't spend that much. We want to change that. We want to make sure that six months to 12 months from now, you definitely want to get wise best in your opinion because those matters spend, they are like high level people and they are going to be like those people that we spend and the repeat of those people is really high. And we putting up a dashboard where every venue can see the numbers, second you can see the market share, and most importantly the sales we generate for you per scan. And uh, this is basically like what we are working on for the next uh, so six months basically. Uh, the numbers we already have them, but we just want to make sure they are meaningful and simple enough for FNB uh, people. So I see well, okay, you can try this. I get that. And this is definitely helping in my um, PNL. So that's basically the vision for why it's best to work with the FNB industry. So that would be my answer for my vision for the next six to twelve months. And hopefully, um, if I can answer like on the long term, like plus one year, uh, we want to make sure like on the member side, the value of the membership is really growing only when we can allow a lot of access to many venues, not in Ho Chi Minh, but also in Hanoi. Actually, if you can use a membership anywhere else in Southeast Asia, that is a great value for members. That would mean like you can just get uh, to Bangkok or Singapore or Hong Kong. Just scan and get a ball, right? And this is how we can actually build a really strong database of members up across all those countries. So you may get like, members from Singapore coming to Goma and that is definitely new customers and then we can ensure that like, you can get some basically international traffic and that is something that is hard to track usually in the film. you just get people coming in and serve them but who are they and how many times they come back we measure all that with Wise Pass um, I'll finish with that which is um, an, another new thing which is like a lot of venues do events sometimes so we try to build something that is quite unique and simple for the venue so you can get more traffic and sales in a way that is really quick and simple. Mm -hmm. And you just press a button and then basically you get like, let's say, 5 million sales more that day. That's it. Right. So that's basically like the way we want to build that feature for venues where I need to boost my sales, how can I do that? Usually we say, oh, I get an event, get a singer or a DJ and something like that. You may charge 200000 per ticket and then people would come for that event. But it costs so much, like, it takes so much time just to get everything in order that you don't want to have that pain. So we want to remove the pain and actually ensure that the sales is going up. Um, that's a new feature uh, as well and that would be my answer to your, long answer to your question. Thank you. Right, right now, let's say you have 40 uh, venues working with Wi Pass. Mm -hmm. um, but have you ever thought of like, giving the membership to uh, each owner of the, mem of the venue? 
So let's say my boss Austin, he can have an access to the Y pass, not to promo because he doesn't need to, but to other venues so he can. Like, we like, like, we like to see how other sure. venues do as well. Mm -hmm. uh, because some of the venues, let me share. So first question, sure. And the second um, part is um, differently because, like, you know, like some of the venues are leveraging the membership very differently. So I'll give you an example. Uh, we started to work with the Hard Rock Cafe uh, four or five months ago. And um, it, was pretty, um, it was pretty rocky in the beginning. Uh, they didn't put the box, people couldn't see it. And uh, we got some members and CEOs coming to the Hard Rock and they were like, uh, the staff wasn't ready basically. So we had to tell them, please, please, make sure the, the staff is aware of that. Uh, we send you the box, but you kind of put it somewhere else, and then the staff is looking for the box. So what they did now was to put the box right at the entrance, so white space is actually glowing. And now we get more and more like those women, that are actually 35 plus, they would go there all the time. And now magically, just by just putting and setting the box properly, people come to the uh, uh, the repeat of the power. It's beautiful. That's one. Um, if you talk about some other venues like the Pullman Hotel, the are in District 1. But what we did was to cooperate with the FMB manager. And the way we, we cooperate was very simple. She is doing something very special with cold cut, uh, free flow and all that. And what we did was very simple. We did a special boom. It's an event. And you can go there and you pay 300000 for the uh, for the cold cut. And we actually fill up like 25, uh, 25 persons. So half of the room was uh, occupied by Wise Pass. Full price, no discount, you get the cash paid directly by the members. Mm -hmm. So they did that. So it was pretty good. Um, the stage was happy. Um, another thing is, um, okay, so this, so putting this at the entrance, and for others, like we do a lot of um, medium, small, and large events. So we do now something new that is uh, video 360. So what is that? So we make an event, and then we ask like a guy uh, that we work with, the home pilot. He comes and actually makes a 360 video so people can watch the whole environment, right? And then uh, we boost it on Facebook and then people can watch the video and say, hey, this is pretty cool. And you basically benefit from that kind of thing. The video costs $2,000, but we take care of that and you just get it for free. So we do such kind of event. It's already on Facebook. We did this with uh, Luzin. So Luzin benefited from the 360 uh, video. Zuma enjoyed that and Luzin was really happy because it was pretty new and people can just like look around. Um, yeah, and the, the last one we got 40,000 views. So that's what we did. So those are three things we've done. Um, yeah, so we have sales for events, I'll put the box in the entrance or a big event that we just blasted with us on that. Facebook um, promotion. Okay, so in terms of like making events, is it like the idea, the concept coming from the venue or coming from you? Oh, it's coming from us, we take care of everything. Okay. We drive the traffic for you, you just work on the host, uh, the, uh, the members and the guests, and that's it. So they come and they just enjoy. We make like a small speech for like five minutes, and uh, actually tomorrow uh, I will be at the Alley Cocktail. Okay. And, um, that's one of what we call the uh, medium-large uh, type of event. So that might be 40, 50 people because the place is able to get that amount. Mm -hmm. And I'll do my speech for five minutes. It's free flow. And um, yeah. So video 360 for the alley. So we're working with Mr. Uh, Dunn uh, in this place. Okay. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed the, um, the discussion we just had with uh, Leo. And then if you want to know more, just like um, and click on the link uh, for Broma. You'll see tons of pictures. This is a great place. I've been working with for seven months. So, see you soon. Thank you.
Oh. Uh.